What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And today we're starting coverage of the Falsman Mini Bluetooth keyboard with an unboxing. Now you can use this tech with many different things, but my personal goal is to use this mini Bluetooth keyboard with our wearable display that we have here. This would be the Lenovo Legion glasses. And the idea is that it would improve accessibility for the wearable display. Now again, this is just an unboxing, so we're not going to be going into many details with this product as of this video. I do want to try it out. I want to create a good review, but the idea is just to show off the contents and really explain why I'm using this. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are with the unboxing and I'll just say right away, if you're listening to the content, the packaging is very small and that tells us that the keyboard is also going to be very small. Now to give you an idea, I do have an S24 Ultra dummy model here and it's almost the size of the packaging. It's a little bit smaller. But that tells you that the keyboard is going to be pretty pocketable here. It's going to be comparable to Pocket in an S24 Ultra. And that also tells us that not only will this keyboard be compact, but ideally it's going to be very light as well. Huge plus there. So as for the packaging itself, it's pretty straightforward. We have Fosman brand in there, mini Bluetooth keyboard. The sides will explain some of the functionality and compatibility as well as the back. But let's get into the reason we are here and that is because we want to unbox this. So I'm going to open the package in here and we are going to slide the contents out. Make sure that I have everything right side up. Everything is out of the box there. And here we have the keyboard. We've got some other things. We've got some product information, user manual. We have a USB-A to USB-C cable. So that's a plus here. This product does have a USB-C port. That is really nice to see here because sadly there are still Bluetooth devices that are shipping with micro USB. And that is a huge disappointment. If you are trying to get rid of those micro USB cables or you don't have any or you don't want any more. So here we are with the mini Bluetooth keyboard. And again, this thing is small. It is very small. It's also very light. I love the shape here. It has a controller like feel to it. it. It kind of feels like a game controller. It looks like a game controller. Very nice. And again, talking about size, I want to get this next to an S24 Ultra and it is a lot smaller than an S24 Ultra. Now keep in mind an S24 Ultra is a very large phone, a very large smartphone, but it's nice to see that the keyboard uh, is, is it fits within, it fits on the inside of the S24 Ultra. It even fits within uh, practically the display of the S24 Ultra. So this is what you're working with. And if we're looking for a side profile, there we go as well. So very compact keyboard. This, this is actually a really cool device. And what I like about this too, is it does have a very technical appearance to it. We've got some orange accents on the bottom here and they kind of seem to be like grips, but also everything is marked very well. So it definitely feels like a technical marvel. It has that cyberpunk vibe to it. If you like cyberpunk, you like any gear that has a modern looking appearance, this would fit the bill. Now I will say it looks like most of this is plastic. So it does have somewhat of a a lower price feel to it, uh, almost cheap, I would say, but I think it does help having this technical appearance to it. I think that kind of balances everything out a little bit. So speaking on size, this should obviously be very pocketable, especially if you can pocket an S24 Ultra, but this keyboard will also fit into some cases. So here I have a case by GL Khan and the keyboard is just going to slip right in there and it's going to fit pretty good. There is a little side to side movement and up and down movement, actually quite a bit there, but this case would do very well if you did want to use it for this keyboard. And you can even put this in the pocket 
in this mesh pocket up here, that is a little bit better. And you can always store something else in there. So if you're looking for a storage solution, that would work just to keep the keyboard protected from scratches and that kind of thing. Now, I do want to try to switch this keyboard on because it is backlit and it looks like we have our off on slider here. So I'm going to slide on. I don't know that this is charged. We've got an LED indicator up there. A few LED indicators, it looks like. I'm not sure how the backlit keyboard comes on. Let's see if we can press a key here. And uh, we have, a, it looks like a light button there. Let's see if I press that, if that does anything. And I don't know if this needs to be charged. So that might be, that might be something worth considering. Let me turn off here for a moment and then we'll turn back on. And this is the, the natural process of doing an unboxing on something you've never opened. And that being said, I haven't actually charged this. I know nothing about it, which is why we're going to create follow-up videos. Uh, but overall, even though I can't really figure anything out right now, I'm very excited to use this with the wearable display. I'm very excited to see how the trackpad works. Yes, there is a trackpad here with the keyboard and uh, just play around with it. And then again, for charging, we have a USB-C port on the bottom there. So I'm going to have to charge this. I'm going to have to read the user manual, figure out how all this works. I imagine it's not going to be too complicated, but when we do go to charge this, this is going to plug right into the bottom of the keyboard there. And that's a pretty good fit. There is a tiny amount of play and the cable doesn't sit flush against the keyboard. I would like to see that sit flush, but uh, it, it does the job, it, it works. So that is it for this unboxing. I'm really excited to use this. I just love the form factor here. I don't know how good it's gonna be and that's part of the test, that's part of the excitement, but I love the form factor. If I can actually use this with a wearable display, that would be excellent. But again, I got to do some research and figure out how this works. And I'll be sharing that information with you in a later video. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.